Hey guys, welcome back to World of Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have Jeep Cherokee guys between year 2014 and year 2020 and you have any of the following four codes guys, I'm talking about code P0201, P0202, P0203 or code P0. 204 stabilis and we'll explain what can cause that code guys and how to fix it today with the vehicle being uh, with the engine excuse me being out of the out of the car we can show you with a greater detail where things are and how to fix it in addition we'll be taking the whole engine apart and show you how to do anything on it how to fix anything even do timing chain replacement cylinder heads gaskets quite a bit guys so uh, please guys subscribe to the channel like the video why we do all that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can now if you guys need any parts or tools uh, to fix that problem or any other problems on your Jeep Cherokee check out the links will be shared for all the parts that we use in the description of the video below for your convenience guys so let me explain what we have here now specifically this is a 2016 Jeep Cherokee engine out of the vehicle here we are doing engine replacement this is guys the tool that we use to scan usually our system I'll put the link in the description of the video below it's an amazing tool you can check every computer in your car you can read codes for every computer, delete codes and see live data. And it works on so many cars guys, check it out, it works on enormous amount of vehicles. We've used it on BMWs, Mercedes, Porsche, Jeep, Dodge, uh, we used it on Chevy and it's amazing to you guys. So I'll definitely recommend it. So what these codes indicate guys? I'll go ahead and pull the engine cover out so I can show a little bit with greater detail what I'm talking about. Uh, this right here guys is the top of your engine. You will have ignition coils here. You can see uh, this is the air intake duct and if you come on the back side of the engine I will go ahead, I pre-loosen that uh, clamp here so I can pull that air intake and remove the bolt right there. And I want to show you here something guys, if you remove it you're going to see on the back side of your engine okay where your intake manifold is located you will have these four devices those are called fuel injectors and these code guys will relate to bad fuel injectors or a uh, fuel injector that's not uh, connected all the way the wiring harness is not pressed all the way in or we have a loose wiring harness or a damaged wire now if you want to see a video how to replace fuel injectors, we'll have it on the channel, everything from start to finish, so we'll definitely guys explain that, make sure you check it out. Uh, another thing, uh, if you want to see anything else, just leave a comment below and we'll try to make a video. Right here guys, okay, how you remove fuel injectors, it's complicated, uh, you, you have to be extremely careful because you have the fuel system under pressure, but always check the wiring harness to make sure that everything's plugged all the way in, otherwise, okay things can go pretty bad guys uh, because if it's not plugged all the way in what will happen the computer can detect that the injector is not working but all we have to do is you maybe have a uh, okay loose wire so I'll get a screwdriver quick and I'll show you what we need to do now here to make sure that okay it's actually plugged all the way in so let me go ahead and see okay how to how exactly to pull that thing back okay so we can uh, disconnect it that red thing needs to come all the way up here now so we'll get the smaller screwdriver now okay if you come in a specific angle okay check it out now okay that red thing how it's up it shouldn't be like that uh, press that black thing okay and disconnect it make sure that it's uh, going all the way in make sure everything's clean and when you are ready just push the injector until uh, that connector to the injector until you hear a click listen now and now push that red thing to lock it in place now uh, as i said guys if you have any of those codes indicates bad fuel injector or loose wiring harness now if you had code uh, if you have code uh, 201 that will be for fuel injector on cylinder number one which one will be the closest okay to the serpentine belt then you have uh, code 202 for cylinder number two code 203 cylinder number three and code 02 Zero 04, this is for cylinder number 4, which one will be the closest to the okay, transmission side or the throttle body right here. So hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you guys next time.